Welcome to the show, guys. Hi, guys. Duke here. Just wanted to share with you what the best way I found to record and play is for me. I use virtual desktop. Inside of virtual desktop, you have a few settings. You have your virtual desktop settings under streaming here. So your left Oculus will bring you up to there. After you pair up your computer and such, you can choose different environments. I choose black point. I don't care about fancy graphics um, outside of the game, right? Then I go under settings. I have my environment quality as low. Auto connect each time that the computer boots up and I'm also on. I want it to be searching for it. The frame rate 72 frames per second. This is just for the computer connection, right? Um, and the desktop bitrate, I maxed it out here. It will um, do its best to just adjust that by itself. I'm gonna make it a little bigger so that everybody can see all the settings that we're looking at here. Okay. Now, under streaming, this is VR graphic quality, right? I put it on high. If you have a computer that's uh, lower and you might want to try potato and the other lower settings to get you into a frame rate that you're comfortable with playing, that is not skipping too much, giving you issues. The frame rate here, I put 72 FPS because I, I don't really have a gaming rig. This is just a laptop I was able to get. Um, VR bitrate, this will adjust. I, I think I, I had to push it all the way up to 150. This will uh, get changed as you do other configurations and mess around with your network. Um, you can show the performance overlay right here. This is crucial while you're in game. You just press both thumbsticks to bring it up and to bring it down. You can see how your bit rates are doing and uh, if you need to adjust the settings it will give you some guidance uh, between like seeing green and red um, values um, i made sure that i disabled the uh, press the oculus to speak uh, button because i want to be able to press my left oculus button and my right oculus button uh, to control these settings and such so this is from the virtual desktop uh, application itself, right? Now, inside of my computer here, I have this client right here under settings that also has other codecs and such. So I prefer the H264 here, as you can see. Open XR runtime, this is good. So for, I'm running a Quest 2, so this is the setting for the Quest 2. For anything above Quest 2, you're gonna most likely be running pretty good on the ABI, sorry, AB1 10-bit. Or you can give it a shot with the other ones too, but uh, you're gonna find that this was actually made for the Quest 3, okay? You can keep it on auto, but I found that just choosing the BDXR on my system with my headset, it worked the best. That's the Meta Quest 2 that I'm running right now. Aside from that, guys, it's pretty simple. You just bind your accounts here, you put your username for the Oculus, and it's very, very simple to kind of switch in between your monitor and your games. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Now, one more thing crucial here. You're setting up your PC. You want to make sure that no VPNs are running. You have disabled your Wi-Fi. You don't need Wi-Fi on your um, laptop running. Okay. You go under properties. And here's some secret sauce that I'm going to show you guys here. Okay. Right here under advanced. You're going to see you want to disable anything that has to do with saving power so energy efficient 
Ethernet. I turned that off. I do not want it to turn off my Wi-Fi. And, sorry, my um, Ethernet port at any time. I also want to modify my speed and duplex. See, I already chose one gigabyte. On your gaming rigs, you probably have 1.5 having on your PC. Choose that or above. You want to choose whatever says GBPS, okay? That means gigs. The higher value of the gigs you have running here, the better, okay? Also, make sure that not only on your laptop it supports that speed, but your modem that you're hooking up to, um, your router supports the speed that you're choosing. So this will take a little bit tweaking, but you'll get there. Take your time. That's pretty much it, guys. Once you do that, you'll be running without issues, no lag, no gameplay lag um, with your system. Just make sure one thing, I have my computer hooked up directly into my modem that's feeding the rest of the house. Nobody else is using the Wi-Fi on my modem except for myself and my headset that I'm wearing, the Quest 2. Everybody else in the house is has another Ethernet cable coming out of the modem, going into another Wi-Fi spot, and from that Wi-Fi spot, everything else is hooked up. So I made sure that my Wi-Fi is running on 5GS and that way I have the best speed. I don't use 2.4. I do not enable dual bands. I make sure that it's only running on 5GS, fastest uh, Wi-Fi speed that I have on my modem available and nothing else is interfering. After that, guys, you're guaranteed to have a smoother gameplay and uh, nothing will lag you down. Well, see you in game. Have fun.